my guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Craft haul time. Yay. And this. Oh gosh. Funnily enough, I was actually just thinking about this. I was like, hmm. I could do with them, actually, to do um, play on a cover that I'm making. Um, but there wasn't due to come till next week. I think it was next week, either next week or the week after. But they've literally, literally just arrived. <gasps> Look what I got. I did it. I bit the bullet and I bought the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I bought them yesterday on Amazon. Yep, I bought them yesterday and they weren't due to come until next week and they have literally just arrived now. So, oh my gosh. So I got, I can't remember which way round it is, but I got set one and set two because there's loads of them. I think this is set one. Um, but I went for these two specifically because you've got your usual primary colours in there and then this one because they've got the um, pastel tones and you know what I'm like for those. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. So we have classic, let me pull you down for this. So we've got the classic vintage photo, then we have walnut stain, awesome, I have them in the ink pads, and then we've got wilty, wilted violet, cool, I've not had that one before, oh, I've not had any of these now, um, spiced marmalade, oh, Oh. Picked raspberry. Oh. I'm so, so excited. Peeled paint. Oh, I love that one. Is that? Yeah, it is. It's this one. Okay, so I have. I have picked raspberry, and peeled paint in the archival links, and I love the peeled paint one. It's one of my favourites. We have faded jeans. I also have that in the archive link as well. Again, I love that one. Fired brick. Don't know why I keep joking, but fired brick. Cracked pistachio. Oh, I love that. Uh, Mermaid Lagoon, I have that one in the archive links as well. Um, and we have Fossilised Amber, again I have that one in archival. And Iced Spruce. Awesome. So I have those. I've got vintage photo and walnut, well, vintage photo in ink, distress ink, and in the um, archive links. I've got walnut stain in a normal pad, but I don't have those. Walnut stain in a normal distress ink pad. And then we have these ones, which are a little bit more pastel torn. Because I love my pastels. So we have oh, Victorian Velvet. Oh, I've seen that used so many times on things. And it looks awesome. Twisted Citroen. This is a love pair, I believe, in amongst people who use it because it's so in your face bright. But it can be torn down. Squeezed lemon. Um, oh, antique linen. Oh, I love that. I've got that in a normal ink pad. Distress ink pad. 
sponge sugar. Oh, it looks like candy floss. Literally sponge sugar, yeah, candy floss. Oh, wow. And we have shaded lilac. Oh, just look at that gorgeous colour. Pumice stone. Cool. Nice earthy tone. Mauve loam. Nice green. Broken china. A lovely blue. Peacock feathers. I see this one used a lot in videos and I'm like, I need that colour in my life. Um, dried marigold. That's nice. It's almost like an orangey peachy tone. And then abandoned coral. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel like I've just won the lottery. Um, but yeah, I can't believe they came so quick. They literally weren't due to come till... Oh my gosh, well I say next week, next week, or ne no it weren't next month, I think, I'm sure it were next week. Because um, I was just thinking, not long since, I was um, sorting a cover out, and I was just thinking, oh, I wish they were going to come a bit sooner because I'd love to use them on this cover. Um, and then, yeah, I went downstairs, and the postman came, and here they are. So I just literally opened the box took out the personal stuff, the invoice and everything, and then ran straight up here <laughs> to film. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Kind of like the world is my oyster now. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it's just awesome. I love it. Eek. Um, yeah, so bring on the distressing fun. <laughs> um, these, you honestly guys, you would not believe these two sets of um, sprays have been in my Amazon basket for two, two years, something like that. Because I've ummed and awed, should I get them, should I not, would I use them, what would I use them for? Um, but yeah, but now I don't care, I'm like, I don't care anymore, I'm getting them, so... Wow, awesome. And this was my treat to myself because we recently ended up with a refund back for a holiday that we should have had last year that got cancelled because of COVID. So it got brought forward to this year, Easter just gone, and then it got cancelled again because the camp wasn't opening in time for us to go on holiday. So instead of having another holiday, we decided to, well, I decided to just grab a refund instead and we will book, see about booking for later on in the year instead when we know things are i would say back to normal but yeah <laughs> is there such is there ever going to be such a thing again um but yeah because i'm not booking another holiday and getting hopes up especially for taylor i'm not booking another holiday so far in advance and getting hopes up just to have them shattered again when things don't go right so yeah like i said i opted for a refund and I put some of that money to good use because it's money that disappeared in 2019 anyway so yeah awesome i love it i'm so freaking happy right now <laughs> anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you guys thank you so much for watching and oh awesome 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 i will be playing with these very soon because i have a cover that i want to play with oh my gosh that was a bad idea um, it's not a cover yet. It is. Oh, that's gonna fall. It is literally just a piece of Amazon packaging paper that I have gessoed on one side. I haven't gessoed on the other. I have gessoed on one side. And as I was cutting it down earlier on, the idea was to gesso it and then um, decoupage over it with a napkin, um, that sort of thing, and then seal it both sides with matte medium and what have you um, and as I was cutting it down to size earlier on for the pages to go in and everything I just kept thinking oh I wish I had my sprays because if I had my sprays I could just play around and mop up some colour on this gesso and see where it goes I'm gonna decoupage over it with a napkin anyway so if it didn't quite work out it wouldn't matter but if it did I'd have some nice coloured tones in the background and yeah and then like I said I literally go downstairs after doing that and the postman arrived with these oh yay now i can get it done awesome right 
thanks for watching guys and i will see you all again soon bye